Okay, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on DIY reusable mesh stencils. If you've seen any of the Chalk Couture videos that are going around, these are really similar to those. Um, so what you're going to need for materials is a piece of 631, eh, 631 vinyl, <laughs> thought I said that wrong. Um, heat and Bond, you can get this at any craft store. I think I picked mine up at Michael's. Um, mine is the Heat and Bond Ultra Bond and it will be rough on one side you'll be able to feel the adhesive and the other side will feel like a smooth wax paper this is a double-sided adhesive so you will apply one side let it cool peel off the liner and apply the mesh to the other side but this gets a little tricky because we don't want any adhesive in the negative space of the stencil so the way i've got found that works best is to take the heat and bond feel for the rough side and place the rough side down onto the top of your 631 vinyl. And then I heat press it at 280 for two to three seconds. And that allows the first side of adhesive to adhere to the vinyl side. I like to sandwich it in between a piece of wax paper just to prevent any overhang of the heat and bond from getting adhesive onto my mats or my press. So I'm gonna start with doing that. I'm gonna place, then I'm just gonna sandwich it between the wax paper. And where is my heat press mat? And next, next, we're gonna take the easy press mat. Take our little sandwich. Our heat press is at 280. And the instructions say to only press for two to three seconds, one to three, something like that. I usually press closer to five to 10 just to make sure it gets a really good bond. Again, this is at 280. I tried pressing for one to three, but I get some areas that didn't adhere as well, so I just feel like a little extra doesn't hurt. Lots of pressure. Okay. So, this is a cold peel. So, we we'll get this out of here first. So, this is a cold peel. So normally right now, I would put this into my Cricut and cut it with the liner and all, but because it's still warm, I don't want anything to move around because when it's warm, uh, the glue is more pliable. So I'm gonna let this cool off and once it's fully cool, I'm going to cut my stencil just like I would normally cut any piece of vinyl. For cut settings, what I have found worked best for me is holographic sparkle iron-on. I've tried a ton of settings for my blade, my machine I'm using the maker, my blade's mm, fairly new, but it's definitely been used a few times. Um, it works great. You might have to go through some trial and error to figure out what cut settings work best for your blade, depending how sharp it is. But Holographic Sparkle Iron-On has done me well so far. So I'm gonna treat out my Easy Press mat for my standard grip mat. And I'm just going to apply this like I would normally. Nothing special about this part. I'm going to run this through my Cricut machine, um, cut out a design, and then we'll jump back in to the next step. Okay, we're back. So my design has been ran through my Cricut. I do recommend that you do not use the fast mode. Um, I've tried it and it's not that it doesn't work. It's just this is something you wanna be a little bit more delicate with. It's not a big issue if the liner lifts, but the glue underneath it, you, that, if it's not adhered really well, which is why I press a little extra, you can get a little lifting there. Usually you can salvage it, push it back down, it's no big deal. But I do find it's best to just use the regular mode instead of fast. So at this point, we are going to weed it. Well, I like to start off with removing the liner first. So what I do is I grab the liner and I make sure that it's leaving the glue underneath behind and I just peel this away. Now parts of the design will stay of course, but that's no big deal because they will weed away when we do our weeding. Okay, so now we got that gone and now we are just gonna weed the negative. So I'm gonna speed this part up and I will be right back with you. So at this point, we are left with this. It doesn't look much different than a normal vinyl stencil, but what is different is that we have this double-sided adhesive. 
So now we have the one side of the adhesive bonded to the vinyl. The other side of the adhesive hasn't been activated yet. So I do not have like official stencil mesh. I'm using tool. So what I'm going to do is just, I cut it oversized because we can trim this at the end to make it all nice and pretty. I have a little bit of excess glue hanging off. So I'm just gonna get that now. I don't really see the point of letting that get all over the wax paper if I can prevent it. It probably, it wouldn't be a big deal, but. There we go, okay. This, put my tool on top and make sure it's nice and smooth. I don't want no wrinkles in it. Okay. And now we are going to press. This last press is gonna be a long one. Um, I guess about 15 seconds. I, I really just kind of wing it because I, I feel like it needs more time than the instructions say. So it's really just trial and error for me. About 10 seconds seems to work. Make sure it's been good. Now this is a little warm still, so I'm gonna let it cool. So at this point, we have something that looks like this. Not very pretty, but at this point, we can just trim it up. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use my rotary plate. I forgot my roller downstairs, so I'm gonna freehand this. So don't judge me if it's not like perfectly straight. And I'm just gonna clean up all this excess. So my camera cut off <laughs> my last recording, so I just wanted to show you the final product and how awesome it is. The little parts of the letters stay one with the stencil. Um, I usually stick it to like a towel or a shirt a few times to get a little fuzzy since it is six through one. You could probably use six by one and do the same thing, just get a little fuzzy. Um, I have used these, washed them, and the stickiness comes right back. It doesn't feel sticky when it's wet, but I promise, let it dry, stickiness comes right back. Um, I know the Chalk Couture ones aren't like reusable forever, so I'm not sure how long these would last either. I'm sure they would last quite a few uses though, especially if you take good care of them, kind of like the Cricut mats, the better you take care of them, the longer they're gonna last you. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know how it goes, let me see your results. And if you have any questions or problems, feel free to reach out. And of course, if you have any ideas or anything you would like to see that maybe hasn't been done yet or you're not, nobody's doing tutorials on it kind of like this and you want me to test different methods and find a way that works, let me know your ideas because I love testing and trying and troubleshooting ideas. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button below and check the little bell so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching.